and in this video we're going to be talking about port tuning. In particular, what is the final tuning frequency of your speaker after you got done building it? Or if you bought a speaker and you think you might know what the tuning frequency is, what is it actually? I gotta say that there's a lot of confusion about this and that's because some people don't even build their ports properly. Now I just did a video on that which you can find right up here so if you're confused on maybe what your port length is or even if you think you know how to do it correctly you should watch that video just in case because there are some common mistakes that people make that unfortunately you're just not made aware of until it's too late. So after you've done that most likely you've used a box modeling software of some kind to be able to tell you where your port tune should be. But is that where it really is? I've got great news for you. The method I'm about to show you takes less than three minutes to, to do completely and you'll know your final port tune of each and every speaker that you've built. Now for this, you're gonna need a couple things. You are gonna need a computer and it will need to be a Windows based computer. You're also going to need this program called Dats V2. Dats V2 is a program that does cost money. You can buy it from Parts Express. It is made by Dayton Audio. It is an amazing program that I think every single person that is in speaker building should have. Now, this is a program and hardware, so hardware and software that comes in this. You're also going to need, of course, a speaker or in this case, whatever speaker that you want to test. In this case, we're gonna be using the Dayton Audio MK402s for a couple reasons. One, we know what its final tuning frequency should be, and we can also easily show you what it actually is. So let's go ahead and hook up our hardware. Now the first thing we want to do is actually test to see what these speakers are supposed to be tuned to. Now what we're going to do is just go to Parts Express website and go type in MK402 and when we do that we should pull up the speakers and we'll pull them up and we will take a look at what its tuning frequency should be. Now according to Parts Express website it says the tuning frequency of this should be 50 Hertz. So we should be getting somewhere around 50 hertz. Now that we have our hardware set up, we're just gonna to go to DATS and open up that program. Now this is Dayton Audio Test System. And when we open this up, there's all kinds of things that you can do. You can do measure free air parameters, you can do impedance sweep, rub, and buzz. But for this, it's very simple. All we have to do is run an impedance sweep. Now think about what we've done so far. All we've done is opened up this program and plugged up the hardware. This has literally taken one minute of time. Now all we have to do is do an impedance sweep. Once that impedance sweep is done, now this is all real time, you're gonna see a couple things. You're gonna see two huge peaks. Now these peaks are gonna be around the tuning frequency. Now let me explain that. When you port tune, you're gonna have this low dip here. Now this low dip is actually where the speaker is tuned to. So whatever its lowest point is. So the easiest way to tell what its lowest point is is to take a look at this information down here. Now this says the frequency, which is 53 hertz, and it says the ohms, which is 5.043 ohms. Now what we wanna do is continue to go until that ohm increases or decreases. So okay. So if you see 5.027 is 51.81 hertz. So we might as well say that these are tuned to about 52 hertz, 51.87. So not quite 50 hertz that uh, they say that it tunes to, but close enough that I would say that that's definitely within the margin of error once you get this all built together. So guys, you see how simple and easy this is. That's why I think DATS V2 in general is a program that every single person should own. Now I do need to thank my patrons. My patrons actually uh, came up with using this video. Now if you're not a patron yet and you, you think about wanting to be one, uh, you do get to vote on the next videos that come out. This is one that they wanted to see. And because of that, I am gonna do a, another video series on port tuning that we could like say you don't have DATS V2, but you want to also be able to figure out your port tuning. We'll do another video later that will show that. 
And so stay tuned for that if you don't have this, although I think this is by far the easiest and most accurate way to figure out your final port tuning. All right, guys. Now, I am looking forward to seeing you guys at Midwest Audio Fest 2018. That's just around the corner, just in a few days on July 14th. If you're not going to be there, I'm going to miss you. If you are going to be there, make sure you come see me. We'll, we'll go ahead and talk shop. I'd love to get together with you guys. Also, um, because Midwest Audio Fest is right at Parts Express, if you want to get something like that's V2, you can get it. They have a huge tent sale. It's also people that trade. Uh, it, there's, it's just going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a huge speaker competition, all kinds of great things. So if you're there, just come and see me. I'd love to, I'd love to see you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys soon with the next video. As always, please remember to like the video, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.